Welcome back, listeners, to uh, Keeping Up With The Nerds. Uh, this is our first ever official video that you're seeing our lovely faces on. <laughs> yes. you know? uh, not hiding behind the static images that you see normally on the podcast. So, uh, welcome, guys. We're going to be doing our first video. I know. Fortunately, oh, and we are kind of technically six feet apart, so we are still, there's no, yeah. we're still, we're still keeping our distances, yeah. so there's no worries on that. Um, but... Uh, we are making this video because during the recording of the podcast that we just finished up, yeah. uh, Sony just had their conferences on June 11th, and Microsoft had it theirs a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit back and forth, no longer than 10 to 15 minutes, hopefully. Um, but we will be you know, asking each other questions. I'll be representing the Xbox side because <laughs> I am an Xbox boy yes. and do own the, the console for uh, years. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'll be doing the Sony side because I've been a Sony boy since uh, what like 2013 i think since the playstation 3 since the playstation 3 the playstation 3 slim oh i got the slim yeah the slim it was uh christmas i remember and like i was saving up money and then like basically my christmas present was everyone in my family just giving me money so i can just get the playstation <laughs> <laughs> see my story with the whole sony and xbox thing i was actually a sony boy first i had the playstation and yeah. the playstation 2 and then my dad received an xbox 360 as a gift and that's when i actually left one I to the, the Xbox. Bye -bye. Yeah, I started with the <laughs> Xbox 360. <laughs> and then PlayStation 3 scared me. So I was just like, no, no, no. I'm just not going to deal into that. <laughs> um, but we're going to go ahead and start asking questions, each representing our sides. Uh, pretty much just trying to see where we stand on this whole conference thing. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. See who goes first? Yeah. Paper, scissors. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Spock. Yeah. Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my God. Rock, paper, scissors. Go first. <laughs> I always stay rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Go right. for it. Overall, though, what did you think of the conference? For Xbox, specifically. For Xbox, yes. Lackluster. Lackluster. Honestly, yeah. Um, I think that Xbox came out way too strong in trying to advertise itself as, like, this conference, this this uh, this little video that we're going to have, yeah. it is going to be the representation of everything that the Xbox Series X will have. Um, I will say that with its announcement during the Video Game Awards, that was probably some of the best hype it's had. And with the conference that it had, I don't, I don't see using the word conference feels wrong to me. <laughs> no, because it technically wasn't. It, it wasn't. It neither was, one, on, on either side, it wasn't a conference. I would say Sony's is, but so, I'll let you. I'll yeah. let I'll let you say okay. that on your on your side. Yeah. But I will say that Xboxes didn't feel like a full fledged full fledged conference. It just felt bland. Yeah, because. There was points in it, like when I started watching it, you see the, was it the CEO or was, who was it? Phil Spencer. No, Phil Spencer wasn't there. Oh, okay. Yeah, his face was not there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the king of Xbox, <laughs> our lord and savior, Phil Spencer. No, he wasn't there. Yeah. So I, overall, my initial thoughts on the conference, it, it was lackluster. Yeah. I wasn't hyped or excited for anything. Um, I think that with the announcement centering around Assassin's Creed Valhalla as an Assassin's Creed yeah. fan sure I could get excited but it's not an Assassin's Creed video it was supposed to be an Xbox Series X video yeah you know yeah but even then I mean well the thing is overall too it was kind of short it was it was an indie showcase with yeah. and I know I have to say it this <laughs> way because people will get mad gameplay <laughs> um on your side what are your thoughts of the sony conference well actually i was pretty you know i so after watching the xbox one i was like okay is this what sony's gonna do then and then when i saw sony they had like a bigger production of it or something <laughs> because all the people were like pre-interviewed or pre had their recordings ready and they were maybe filmed behind a green screen um sometimes it looked a little weird or wonky at some points but hey it still looked clean um, but I was pretty satisfied. The, there was like maybe like three or four games that I didn't know that I was going to get into that now I'm interested in. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it was, it, it did share that kind of like clean professional look from yeah. what I've seen. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that one way more. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it looked nice. I will say that the, uh, the only complaint that I do have is that I'm not a sucker for visual effects mm -hmm. and the transitions. We can say that Nintendo has that with their directs yeah. with a, like, like the screen transitions and stuff like that. The transitions were a little bit too much. I, no, I appreciated no, them. No, if anything, yeah, I do agree with you. That yeah. It was uh, a big chunk of the, yeah. of the <laughs> whole <laughs> conference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> showing the X and stuff. <laughs> and the... They were fun. Yeah. They were fun, but I think it was a little too much, but I think that that that's what they were aiming for mm -hmm. in that sense of look at us we're the pristine glory 
glorious overlords of your consoles kind of thing, you know, so that's pretty much it. Um, you asked it first, I'll ask this one next. What are the top three games you're looking forward to on the Sony side? And if you've got any on the Xbox, go ahead. Well, obviously, number one is Miles Morales. Okay. That's number two. <laughs> like right out there. Come on. Uh, number two would actually be maybe that new, uh, what is it? It was the Time Stop one at the end. Oh, the end. by Capcom. Yeah. Yes. That uh, was pretty Para cool. Para something? No, it was no, it was the one where it was like this Hitman guy is getting killed and like he has to reset. Oh, the Bethesda one. Yeah. Yes. I was interested in that Death one. Loop or something Death like Loop, that. Death Loop, that's what it was. Well, I'm oh. hoping it's Death Loop. Oh, we'll see. I know I'm going to have to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the right Put one if that's the case. Right there. We know it was. It's in robotic even. voice. It's this one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that one's a good one. Yeah, and then uh, Horizon East, East. Forbidden West. Forbidden West, yes. Because I didn't play the first one, mm -hmm. but this one makes me want to play the first one now because it looks very beautiful again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I never got around to playing Her, um, Horizon Zero Dawn at the first. Mm -hmm. Everyone was playing it. I think at the time I was getting, I just played God of War, uh, the new one. And then after that, I was like, okay. And then I just kind of forgot about it. And then now they put out a second game. It made me realize, oh crap, I need to play this game. Mm -hmm. So. And then your third one? Uh, no, that was my third one. What was the first one? Oh, Miles Morales, Miles Morales and, then and then the, the Death Loop one, Death Loop one and, and then, uh, here, uh, Horizon. Horizon, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so any, same thing on yours? Let's, oh, go ahead. Anything for Xbox? You know what? Um, from what I've seen... See, it's difficult. It is. It's, that's why it's unforgettable. It's like, it's forgettable. It is, because they did put out a bunch of indie games mm -hmm. that I was like, oh, I think that's just going to be a downloadable game that you mm -hmm. can get. Um, what was it? Did they do? Oh, no, that was on PlayStation, uh, Resident Evil. I was like, did they do Resident Evil? But that was on PlayStation. It's difficult because I think that Sony came out with like non-exclusive titles, which mm -hmm. might mean if they're going to jump on and use that yeah. platform, mm -hmm. why not? You know? Yeah. Sure. So they'll announce it. For me, uh, the top three games in Xbox are non-existent. Uh, <laughs> the only reason why is because there weren't anything. Like, it was all indie games. It was all indie games. It's difficult to like, <clears throat> like just. It's It very is. Hard it's, to compare when you when Xbox was showing strictly just indie games yeah. while PlayStation in the, within the same time frame mm -hmm. were just showing these big header games yes. that they were working on for so long. Exactly. I will say Assassin's Creed Valhalla is still on my list. Probably not like a day one buy, but it is something that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I will say Dirt 5 is something that I'm really that liking. Interesting. Yes, I am a huge racing fan. Yeah. So to when i heard that code masters this was like years ago they kind of said that we're done with dirt and mm -hmm. then they started bringing themselves back yeah it's good and it's good to see code masters come back because code masters is one of those devs that really pays attention to yeah. their racing games and their racing sims when they put work into it they're really good so for that one i would say that that's probably the only game i have my eye on i will probably say more when they actually have their official first party releases yeah. or announcements in july but as far as Sony goes, I do have three on there. Mm -hmm. Miles Morales, let's just throw out the, the window. You know, obviously, yes, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, of yeah. course. I'm going to freaking say Miles Morales. Yeah. But the top three for me, definitely Gran Turismo. Like I said, Gran, oh, I am a racing yeah. fan. I've never been a fan of Gran Turismo mm -hmm. after four mm -hmm. because four was the last one I played. And then five and six always felt like they were just not good enough i've always had a problem with the audio visually didn't look right um i know that they barely got their ferrari license in the last one they mm -hmm. lost it and they barely got it back and then the tracks just didn't look good mm -hmm. but then they showed gameplay for gran turismo 7 and oh my god yeah. it looks gorgeous it looks really clean it like for once it's yeah. not forza that looks great it's like gran turismo which is good i mm -hmm. want gran turismo mm -hmm. to be good because it was a good racing sim for the playstation 2 when i used to play oh, yeah. it um, there was another one called uh, The Devil Inside or something like that. It was that little indie game that had like the little, it looks like claymation art. It was, it's oh. in the style of uh, Wind Waker, similar yeah. to that one. Mm -hmm. um, that one was interesting. I, I think it, it looks like a funny little indie game with a fun little story. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not give that one its attention, you know? The other one, I will say, um, I cannot remember the name of it. It's a Capcom exclusive uh, after the Resident Evil 8 announcement. And the only reason why is because Capcom for the longest time had had this idea or this kind of image that they weren't releasing original IP. Yeah. It was mainly Mega Man, Resident Evil, That's true. remasters yeah. of different stuff. So to see them come out with a new IP, good. Mm -hmm. Because do you remember Lost Planet? No. You don't remember that franchise from oh, Capcom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the bounty hunters, like the monster hunter kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it monster hunter Capcom as well? It's not. I think it's something else. 
Uh, I'd have to look, but yeah. like it's good to see them come up with something original, mm. you know. So that one's also on my list. Good for them. Top three for me. Yeah. Uh, you got the next question. Oh, what did you think of the console? It's too big. It is the Xbox Series X. It, way, uh, I think it's smaller than what we think it looks like. Hopefully, um, but I mean, from what they've said, they jam pack a lot of stuff to make the gaming experience better. Yes, because they basically started it from scratch, essentially. They, they said. yes, they so like, took it apart, said, okay, we don't need this, we don't need that. Let's put this in here. Let's see if we can do this. Yes, you know? so it's supposed to be. It's supposed to look like a tower. Yeah, but. You're not buying a console for a tower. No. You know, so it, it looks, I, I mean, it looks sleek because yeah. it's black. I sure. Think, I uh, think like, we're all used to just like the rectangular. Yeah. Sorry, the rectangular kind of thing of it, just kind of easy put in. But I think because of what they have told us that they're trying to do, uh -huh. it needs to be that big. I think later on down the road, they'll probably put like a half the size of that yeah one. that's what i'm hoping yeah. you know they'll maybe condense it down and it won't be so big it looks nice i, I can't say i hate it but it does look like a pc tower and it it's just kind of looks weird um your thoughts on the sony console why does it need to have the wings on it? Those, those, those it wings. looks great <laughs> <laughs> aesthetically it looks nice it looks it looks different yeah but um i'm kind of interested to see how that's gonna play especially because they have two formats Yes. It's a disc and mm -hmm. a digital. And originally, I was going to think about getting the digital, and because that's all I play. I download my games. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm sorry, guys. I don't buy the hard the copies. Physical the physical copies. I used to be that person that buys GameStop. physical. Now I'm, I'm digital. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't care for GameStop. I don't want to meet people. <laughs> like, yeah, I just. <laughs> Straight but, up, just admit it. Yeah. No, and then I just buy it digitally. But then I forgot. That one of the reasons why I always get a PlayStation over Xbox is because I have a it comes it's a Blu-ray player. Yeah. So that's why I have to get the disc. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't think about that. I, <gasps> that's how I take it. Oh man. I don't get a Blu-ray player so when I get an Xbox. So you have to buy a separate Blu-ray player. Oh man, that that's that's an eye opener right there. Yeah. Between the two, who do you think looks better? I have to say PlayStation. At PlayStation. Least with PlayStation, it still has the same like slenderness. Yeah. You know, you can put it up. You can put it in your. Did you hear about center. that? Where yeah. they said that it's like, oh, it finally answers the question. You can put it horizontal. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh, That's good. God. Okay, so we both agree Sony probably yeah. wins the wins the uh, the overall look to it. Mm -hmm. The remote, I still go with Xbox. I'm sorry, but the yeah. PlayStation, I, I know I'm gonna get crap, and oh my god, people are gonna come the, after the me. The controller for the PlayStation still look. I mean, looks it looks weird. like a PlayStation remote. It looks like still it still looks like, looks like it. Yeah. But I've played with the PlayStation remote. It just doesn't feel right to me. It, mm -hmm. I, like I said, I grew up with PlayStation. Yeah. So to me, it has a different feel to it. But if I want to play competitively, the Xbox is the one that I usually go to. I so in the, in, the, in the controller market, clearly Xbox. In the yeah. console market, Sony wins it Sony by a mile. Wins, right. It just looks better. Um, okay. So you got that question. I'll ask this one. Uh, the future of Sony in the next generation. Where do you think it's headed with this? Uh, not, it's hard to say because they are... It looks like they are just going to be putting out maybe story-based games and stuff mm. like that. I haven't yet to see a multiplayer game they put out. Mm -hmm. While Xbox has maybe announced a few multiplayer games, but haven't shown us yet. But at least those ones are announced and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm assuming we'll probably get a Call of Duty game along the way. Yeah, along, I mean, they'll probably the line, get the exclusiveness. Obviously. But as of right now, it seems like PlayStation is just focusing on just putting out exclusive stuff and... Maybe not so much as sharing console games as well, too. Gotcha. Okay. That's what it feels like. Gotcha. Gotcha. In regards to the Xbox side, I kind of have a feeling that they're, it, it, it feels weird to me that they're, like, you see all this advertisement for the Xbox Series X console itself, mm -hmm. and they're advertising it's the most powerful console out there. This is like, this is where the future is going to go. But I kind of get the feeling that Xbox isn't aiming for the console to be its future yeah. i think that it's the gateway into its market mm -hmm. whereas sony is essentially kind of promoting its console mm -hmm. and saying like yeah our console's sexier our console's better yeah. it's going to do so much more well, and all this other they're stuff they're even claiming that like oh well this is going to be the final console in a while yes like i said it's all fine and good you know if this is what sony thinks is it's going to happen mm -hmm. I, I still feel like its focus is on the console itself. Yeah. They're going to slowly start to progress on its services. Mm -hmm. That's where I feel like Xbox is going to be dominating itself. Like it mm -hmm. wants to make sure that that is its focus. Yeah. Its service is its priority, not the console. Mm -hmm. You have Game Pass. You have Game Pass on the system. Mm -hmm. You also have Game Pass on the PC. Yeah. 
you are going to have Project Cloud or X Cloud as well. You know. Yeah. So a lot of things already available to you. Can you get yourself into that family? As soon as you get it in, maybe you don't need an Xbox Series X. Maybe you just get an Xbox One X. Yeah. And there you are. You're in that family already, devoted into it. So that's where I think that's the future of Microsoft. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Final question. Go ahead. For you. Yeah. Who's the winner? Overall, as of if we're going off of presentations, I would say Sony. Okay. Sony had a better way of presenting. They had it longer. It was an hour. It was clean. There was a point, actually, I did see, if anything, there is, uh, they were announcing a new game that had to deal with, like, a developer that had to deal with, like, movies and stuff like that, and it did, like, freeze or pause at one point, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yes, I remember that part. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, was my phone. <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, is something wrong with my TV? I'm looking at it, and it's still going, and they're like... <laughs> That was the Bethesda <laughs> one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, dang. And then the trailer started. And it was like, maybe we missed like maybe 10 seconds of the first yeah. of the beginning. I was like, dang. But other than that, I think because um, PlayStation had more games that I remember, mm -hmm. I think that's why they won. Okay. Now, keep in mind, yeah. Microsoft still has another thing in July. Yes. Their first party that's stuff. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Do you still think that they win even though they didn't release a price? Hard to tell. Um, I think so, because I feel like everyone's going to gravitate towards, at least for the time being, PlayStation. That's where the whole consumer, that's where yeah. most of the consumers are at right yeah. now, because they've dominated this last generation. Yeah. I, <laughs> obviously, uh, it's like, it's obvious. It's obvious. Mm -hmm. Sony pretty much had the cleaner, better looking mm -hmm. conference video, whatever yeah. you want to call it, right? They had the better looking one aesthetically. Yeah. Um, they made more announcements. Mm -hmm. They clearly won the audience with a bunch of games because they didn't just sell you one game. It wasn't just Assassin's Creed yeah. Valhalla, you know, just like Microsoft did with their one video. Yeah. They showcased Odd Worlds. They showcased mm -hmm. um, some games that are not exclusive to PlayStation, like Resident Evil 8. Yeah. Um, they did Horizon, which is like the game that most people talk about when mm -hmm. it comes to like one of, excuse me, not the game, one of the games that most people talk about in terms of PlayStation. Yeah. Um, you had several announcements, and you also had the announcement that the Bethesda IPs that were on there were also going to be time exclusive. Yeah. So you had Sony dominating that actual conference with its exclusives. This is why we need you, and this is why we want you on our family, because you want a game, and mm -hmm. we have the best games out there. They might not be multiplayer-based, but if you want it, this is where it's at. Yeah. Plus, they automatically won with Miles Morales. If you paid attention that to was, Twitter, yeah. like oh all God. of social media blew up. Even okay, so even because um, I'm on TikTok, but I don't post videos on TikTok. <laughs> sure, you don't. <laughs> That's only if you can find me on TikTok. Ooh, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was scrolling through TikTok, and it was like four or five videos on TikTok, just people reacting to it, and I was like, "This reached TikTok." And yeah. I was like, "Wow." Trailer wasn't bad. No, it was, it was great. Yeah. I think it was it was it was a great way to get everyone hyped. Yes, the music was great. Mm -hmm. We've seen Miles just flying around. You know, um, obviously it doesn't feel like a sequel. It's not. It feels like its own self thing. Yeah, spinning off. Which they had to confirm. Yeah, they didn't make that yeah. announcement during the original trailer. Mm -hmm. But um, I will say this: I think that Sony clearly did win this one with this announcement. But 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 there's a but. but. If Microsoft can pull in its Super Saiyan form, basically, like just <laughs> bring in all its energy it. and understand what it did wrong, yeah. it could totally win in, the, in July. No, it could. Even like, because here's the thing. When I look at it, I feel like Microsoft is hiding some of its exclusives. I think so. Cause I think it's like they yeah. have, they've been buying, you know, yeah. different developers. Mm -hmm. They've been bringing them into their Microsoft family. Yeah. So they could, you know, they could say that these are all our first party games that Sony won't have. Who knows? Bonus question for you. Mm -hmm. Pricing. What do you think is the price of the uh, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 5? I hope that it's probably going to be like $500. Okay. Now, that is a significantly a lot more than when it, the PlayStation 4 came out. Mm -hmm. But if it's $500, I can deal with that. 500 for the disc or discless? I hope it's 500 for the disc. <laughs> okay, and cheaper and for the disc. Cheaper disc for the disc disc disc. Cut. Xbox Series X. What's your price? 
I would say it's going to be about maybe a little over 500. Oh, so you think the Xbox Series X will be pricier? It's going to be like within the same field, but just a little bit above, I okay. think, because of the way it looks. You ready for my prediction? Yeah. This is this is going to be a long one. Yeah. Not a long one, long one, but it's going to be a it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> wink wink. Um so, I think that the pricing is going to be staggered. So, there're going to be three versions of the PlayStation console. Mm. Yes, there's going to be two disc lists, mm. two disc list versions of the console mm. plus one disc version. Okay. There's going to be the disc list one terabyte oh, SSD. I forgot about the sizing. Yeah, yeah one terabyte, three hundred and fifty ish, four hundred dollars within that price range. I see what you mean. Okay. Disc version that has. One and a half. No, they don't even have. They do one, maybe two terabytes. Mm -hmm. 450, 400, 450. Yeah. We're going to price it there, right? Okay. And then the disc less four terabyte console, the big one, yeah. the big daddy. Big boy. 500. Over, maybe. Ooh, okay. So they'll have different tiers. Mm -hmm. If Sony, Sony, <laughs> you still have time, yep. hire me. You know, there you, go. you can hire us. We're, we're good. We're, we're consulting you basically. Yeah, basically. What we do. Um, they'll yeah. have different tiers. They won't want to sell the disc version of it. Mm -hmm. They want to sell the disc less version of it yeah. with higher, you know, terabytes. And it's SSD. Yeah. It, it, it'll be way more expensive. But four terabytes, imagine oh. you don't even need to buy an external hard drive for that yeah. or an external, yeah, an external hard drive or an external SSD. As far as the Xbox Series X goes, I think that with its like announcement, they wanted to wait for Sony to make the announcement on the pricing. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to say that maybe it'll probably be worth somewhere around four fifty to five hundred bucks. Yeah, I think I don't think any console will surpass five hundred. No, and if it does, then that's insane. No one's buying it. No one's buying it. No one's buying it. If PlayStation was seven hundred dollars, I'm not getting it. It's, I'm waiting till the price drops. Two of those consoles is the same price as my PC. Yeah. So why not just not buy it and stay old gen, save mm -hmm. up for another year and buy a PC? Mm -hmm. It doesn't serve a purpose. But yeah. you say that that's your pricing. Yeah. It'll. Wait, we can come back to this video and yeah. see how it all goes. Oh yeah. All right, we good? We're good. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, we'll be doing these regularly, usually when we're recording our podcast. So maybe yeah. once a week, maybe we'll just once think of week. different. Yeah, yeah, maybe once a week. Just depends. We'll depends we're working out some video. Up. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be recording different videos. Maybe we'll do individual ones. And you know, we'll figure this out. But uh, don't forget to follow us on our socials on Twitter and Instagram. Description below. Everything will be on there. Uh, follow us on YouTube, and we're on Spotify and Podbean. We do have a podcast. Uh, that's the uh, Keeping Up With The Nerds Variety Hour, uh, where we talk about different topics related to nerdy stuff. So just for an hour yeah, long. Exactly. <laughs> it's an hour long. But thank you guys for watching this video. I just noticed I had this scarf on. This is a face mask. It's, it's not a, a scarf. Face. I'm not a weird guy. Or a handkerchief <laughs> or an ascot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brian. I'm Renee. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.